TD Jakes trying to slide under the bed when Diddy Cone stop. Bro, it's over. Breaking news right now, we're following the Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs, the rapper and music executive, oh. perhaps being linked to a sex trafficking investigation. Oh. He got some shots of a few people. Look, nothing confirmed, nothing confirmed as far as I understand yet, but just the idea of it being linked to sex trafficking at a residence that belongs to P. Diddy and one of his daughters was there too with like two other dudes. I'm like, get all, oh, it's, it's, it's horrific. It's terrible. The, uh, the optics alone will take years if possible, to recover. Coming out of the home, those people have been detained. Now, we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information from. We were actually the, the first ones here. Pulled with up. Look how, dude! Look how heavily armed they are. For all the thug life shit we've been preaching for a long ass time, that don't mean shit when the feds pull up and they have the real artillery, not pistols, all right? Not like maybe the occasional AR, nah. They have the real heavy duty. They have the like fucking ar They have, like, what the hell does this mean? They have all this shit. I can't even pronounce it, bro. They have the bulletproof vest. They have the gear. Look at like actual Call of Duty fucking layouts. It's insane. This one's here with. Bro, they got the flight. Yeah, up here. Okay, so I don't know if this is true or not. If it is, link me, all right? Just, just put in the goddamn comment section. Apparently, someone said that there are logs of P. Diddy traveling from California to somewhere in uh, the Caribbean. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, apparently he ran. About 30 different law enforcement vehicles at least. There are three. Bro, that's wild. That's not the cops. That's fucking military. Okay, not the military. But... That's fed. That's on scene here. This just all unfolded, Sandra, I would say less than 10 minutes ago. We got here even before the crime the scene tape are. came up. So uh, we're just down the hill. If you. Hold on. Actually, I'm not too familiar with my three letter organization. Who the hell is. Home. Wait, is that Homeland Security? Hold on. Is that, is, that, is, that, is that the one for HS? Hold on. Let me make sure I'm not going crazy here. I need to brush up on some of these things. Uh, uh, HS. No. Okay. It is Homeland Security Investigations. Oof. Okay. Okay. Mm. Hey, he's in Puerto Rico. It is Homeland Security. Okay, I'm not going crazy here. Jesus. Look up the street where Tony is right now. To the right, you'll see one of those bear cats. Bro, you have military. You have three little orgs pulling up to your place. You fucked up. You did something foul. And law enforcement, on the other side of those bushes, basically, is that home. What the hell is he doing in Barbuda? On an island of, uh, oh, hold on. Really? Why is he there? Allegedly, that's where he is? Let me see. Mm. Ah! Stop, that's ridiculous. How did he answer the door? Probably pulled a dildo lever on his wall to escape through a secret tunnel. That's some shit. <sighs> mm, what the fuck? Okay, there's bad news to get to, but before I get to any of that news, home that is registered. He had a dildo lever. Click. We out. Uncensored and brunch boxing co-host Matt on X breaking private jet on. Oh. Okay, let me see this real quick. Before I continue this, just just. Actually, no. Let me just get to this. Hold on. Let me let me because I, I I've seen before, but I guess for some of you guys who haven't seen, let me just play the entire thing real quick. To bad boy films, which. 
which is part of Bad Boy Entertainment. And the home, in particular, is registered not only to Bad Boy Films, but to one of P. Diddy's daughters. They are heavily yeah. armed, and uh, they've been very tactful, would probably be the best word to use, as they uh, made entry into this home uh, this right. afternoon. We actually watched them as they made through their made their way through one of these uh, side gates, and as soon as they got inside the home, Good one night, of the things, the first things they did was made their way into this garage that you see is open right there. Uh -oh. Now, they did take a couple people into custody. We witnessed that. Now, are they under arrest? Are they just being uh, asked about what they know? That I can't answer, but I can no, tell you there's three people right there that were taken into custody. We're, we're inside that home at Man. the time of the raid. We did see did a bunch of investigators going in, making the raid. Diddy did do it, bro. And it's so sad to see him just bounce like that, but... Ah. Right in there and clearing that as well. So Don't they're going to do a thorough search as they conduct this raid. And so far, Stu, from what I understand and from Haley on the ground there, they have not seen and we have not seen from our vantage point any sign of Sean Combs, the 54-year-old who <laughs> is believed to be the property owner of this. No, bro, this is way worse than... Uh... Is it way worse than R. Kelly? This feels worse than R. Kelly, by orders of magnitude, honestly. This feels significantly worse. R. Kelly's actually behind bars and all. Diddy had a run, but this just feels significantly worse than Diddy, bro. Let me see what happened here, bro. The diddler. Oh, Puff Daddy. Diddy. Breaking. Okay, this is MOV Uncensored and Brunch Boxing. Is this true? I don't know. I don't know if this person's actually ripped at all. Like, this would be some bullshit. I don't know. Breaking, private jet owned by Sean Diddy, by Sean P. Diddy, Combs, has left the United States. Combs' residence were raided by DHS and connected with a sex trafficking investigation. The, path, the flight path of the plane appears to be headed towards Cape Verde. Cape Verde has no extradition treaty with the U.S. What? Let me see. That's his jet? LA. How would how would did he know though? Doesn't you would think that like the DHS, you would think that Homeland Security, you think that they would make it their mission to make sure that whoever they're targeting, they wouldn't be able to escape when they do make their move. If Diddy was doing this, it feels like he had somehow he had the foresight, knowing that they were coming to do the raid, and then he bounced. How the fuck would he know? I guess he found out he was exposed before. Mm. So he knew that he did something. Oh, not just a guy. I get it. So he, he, <laughs> fucking Christ. Did he seeing a tank pull up to his driveway? You got the money? No, 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 no. Even with the money, bro. Like, I, there have to be something. Like, I don't know how, but there have to be some way he knew beforehand. Or he had the foresight to say, okay. I have a good feeling that because of the prior scandal I had last year, they're going to try and take, but hold on. This is, this is like the day of, right? When y'all make up stuff like this, at least make it believable. Want me to send you the flight tracker website with his registered plane? Or are you just taking, are you just talking? Cause it's free. Every site I've seen blocks tracking on this aircraft. So yeah. If you can post it, this is risky. I don't know if you've seen it, bro. I'll be with you. I have no idea. I guess the same website that we just saw on the screen, but so signal, spatial, flight activity, history. So UTC day, so this was to, no, this was UTC day, so it'll be, okay. Oh yeah, fair enough, no, that's the time right now. 
I want to... Holy shit. Okay, there's a lot here. Oh. Mission Control. Mission Control. King of Lightning want to know what the fuck is going on. Over. Yes, over. His, his fucking fat ass has to just figure shit out. Over. Copy that. Allegedly, this is a private jet that he had from. Was he in LA before? I don't know. I wanna. I don't wanna start tracking Diddy Combs' fucking history. Where was he the past five days before he left? Allegedly. All I'm simply saying is that if the okay, let's just take that face value. Fuck it. If we take we take it at face value and we assume that Diddy did leave. And now he's in Cape Verde or something. Jesus. Then somehow he either had the foresight or he somehow knew, which means kind of crazy. Maybe he did have the the dildo switch, and then he just pulled that lever, and then he <laughs> ran down an underground tunnel. He had the Batman water slide shit. He just went down, and he. <laughs> Right, right to his fucking jet. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It could be like that. But if he is out of the country, if he is in Cape Verde, this makes Diddy all the more guilty, bro. This makes Diddy all the more guilty. Hey, was Diddy on the Epstein Island list? We have to do some double checks. Yo, was he? Cause <laughs> oh no, Sean Diddy Combs is yes, back. So another icon down the hatch for the time being. All right, he could rebound. He could. Nah, this is all cap. I'm bringing my whole lawyer squad. I'm gonna show you guys. This is actually not true. This is not true. Let me tell you what actually happened. Let me bring you guys the facts. This doesn't involve me or I'm innocent. He could bring out a whole team of elite lawyers to get his, to make himself look good in the limelight again. But I doubt that. Not all six rings are mm, true. Fair enough. Though Diddy Combs is maybe. Just saying, okay? He may, but uh, right now, it's just, this is. Uh, bro. The diddler's crazy. I wouldn't showing up to court testifying against the diddler. No. The witness, I should say. The witness is showing up to court testifying against the diddler, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. Russell Simmons, when he sees the diddler arrive in Bali. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. Hey, who's gonna come through next? Spacey? Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Good, oh no. 2024, it's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TG Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. The deviance is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TG Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. Bro, this is insane. This is just fucking March. This is just March of 2024, man. It feels like Cat was some sort of Nostradamus soothsayer. How the fuck did he say this at the beginning of the year? Two months later, Diddy is allegedly in fucking Cape Verde trying to escape the feds. And his estate has been raided by Homeland Security. How is this possible? How is this fucking possible? Like, how do... Nah, man. Like, somebody talk 
somebody talked to fucking Cat Williams before he went to this, uh, before he did this convo with Shannon Sharp. Either an angel, a demon, a combination of the two, whatever. He's like, this is insane. This is insane. <laughs> Nobody has proved anything. Cat was I mean, it's nuts. It's nuts. Holy shit. All right. That deserves a fucking retweet, bro. It's up for all of y'all in 2024. It doesn't matter who you are. All lies will be exposed. Jesus. Step no! <laughs> it's so small. No. P. Diddy and R. Kelly. Step Fredders. Bro, I don't... All lies will be exposed, man. I feel like I need to watch this whole interview again. <laughs> the whole three-hour piece, bro. I know. I just, I haven't watched the Jorgen too. I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew watch that one. As, oh my god. Mm, saving this one. As long as it's it, P. Diddy has a nervous breakdown during the interview with fucking Gail TV. Oh, shit, yo. I get a fucking retweet, dude. No, that's fucking crazy. Good night. All right, let me, yeah, Kat knows something. Kat knows something for sure, bro. Me, R. <laughs> Stop. Fuck you guys. Well, these are icons that have shaped generations of, 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 of music and entertainment as we know it. Respect it. Just make sure. You don't do it one on one with these two guys in rooms, fires. Yeah, just don't do that. Don't do that. Obviously, don't do that. Don't do that. My reaction to that. Oh my god. Let me get. Let me get other news. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Okay. What the fuck's going on? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Okay. It's Diddy. <laughs> Yo, that tune is going to have a whole different ring to it, bro. It's Diddy. Ho, oh, it's Diddy. Like, it's, it's almost like a threat. <laughs> For real, it's almost like an actual threat now. That's the way it feels.